What is going on beautiful people? Joe here, your realtor, and today I'm bringing you Real Estate Tips Tuesday. And guess what? I am joined today by the amazing Selena Studi down here at LensSmart. Hi! Hey, what's up to everybody, Selena? <laughs> hi, 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 hi. There we go. All right, so today we are talking about interest rates. Interest rates. Now, I read an amazing little article the other day about how low these interest rates are. I mean, it's been crazy about what my clients have been getting the mm -hmm. last couple of weeks when it comes to interest rates. So, Selena, hit us with some knowledge and tell us why these interest rates are so amazing right now. All right, so I'm gonna read off a little bit of numbers just because I wanna share some statistics. Amazing. So even in the last couple of weeks, uh, mortgage applications are up 26%. 26%, look <laughs> out. Um, the interest rates are the lowest they've been in the last couple years. Wow, that's pretty um, impressive. New construction is up. Okay, so so why do you think the interest rates are so low, like right now? Like, what do you think is like one of the major pushes for? Well, a lot of a, a lot of that, a lot of it goes into that. Okay. But there, so interest rates specifically for the summer, I think they're going to stay low, and yeah. so it's really a good opportunity for purchases, primary residence, okay. and, and so, for so when interest rates are so basically. Interest rates important. Why, why do you think? Why are the interest rates? Because it's because their monthly payment gets lower with that yes. interest rate. Is that how that works? Yes, absolutely. And then, of course, the better the credit, the lower the, the interest rate. Sure. And if there's questions or if there's concern on credit, then we can help there too. But yes, so the interest rate determines that mortgage payment. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's say I have a high interest rate. Am I looking? So I'm looking at a higher monthly payment because yes. I have that higher interest rate. Correct. So basically the whole game here, what we want to do is we want to get our clients the lowest interest rate possible. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And so when it's like times like this, when it's like the interest rate is so low, we want people to buy yes. or we want people that bought at a higher interest rate, right? So they bought at a high interest rate. Correct. What can they do? Right. What can they do? What well, they can, they can call me, they can right? Call you, and so right? we can look at it. We can determine if it's really a good option for them. Okay. And and, and, and if it's not, right, we want to be honest. We want to sure. say, listen, it doesn't sure. make any sense. But if it does, and more than likely, mm -hmm. even if they did it a couple years ago, if they bought a couple years ago, sure. it's definitely an option for them. So let's say I bought my house and I had like, two years ago where the interest rates were like sure. 6%. Oh my gosh, right? of course. So should, sure, we, sure. Should, should is right now a good time to look at possibly refinancing Absolutely. that house? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Yes. So that's the big thing right there. That's because, big. You know, a couple of years ago, if you were to buy your house at let's say 6% and now it's what, in the threes? Three, so 3.82 nationally right now. Dang, so according crazy. to Freddie Mac, 3.82 percent. 3.82 percent. And it, and so really, just to be a little bit clear, but it's on a conventional credit score is I think is around 700. Okay. It may go a little bit up if it's a little bit of a lower credit score, but we can look at that. Dang. Okay. Good. But good. Still good. really good. Really good. Really good. Really good rates. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's a big thing for a lot of people out there, especially if, if someone was like on the fence. For like, sure. I've had a lot of clients that are like, Joe, you know, the interest rates were just like six months ago. Right. I had two clients just, you know, say, hey, Joe, the interest rates are a little too high. I want to wait. Sure, sure. Do you think it's going to go any lower than this? Like, what, like, what, like, if you had like a crystal ball, we could like look into it. Like, what it could, would you, yeah, it could. you think a so? A little bit lower, sure. We might see a little bit of a lower throughout the summer, but we, we don't know, right? We don't so know. we get mortgage okay. updates every day. Sure. We have some insight. Um, but I think for the summer, we should be okay. okay. We're also seeing a little bit of an, a, a decrease in some of the loan amounts, sure. which means that I, the home prices are stabilizing just a little bit. 3% ah, okay, okay. isn't a lot, but still, I think it's a it's a bigger opportunity for homeowners sure. for affordability. So Definitely. Good, good. I think so too. Yeah. So, I mean, I know our home prices have, have fluctuated the last years, like, and they've sure. gone up, like, right. gone up. It's right. crazy. You know, right. like six months ago, you could find a house, for a nice house for 150000 Right, not anymore. Now you're looking at 175, 180 <laughs> right. just to get that same house, which sure. has been crazy. Right, With crazy. It, right. Which so it impacts a lot of people, especially Tucson, right? Sure. Um, med you know, income. So we're, we try to do everything we can, right? Yeah, definitely. For no, borrowers, we want to see, you know, what they qualify for and the best options for them. Definitely, definitely. All yes. right, so you got some more stats you want to read off to us? Do I? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, All right. Go. So really quick. So FHA, I priced it out 200,000, 700 credit score. Okay. So, so, so FHA, okay. now, in your opinion, since I got you here and we're, we're rapping, we're talking. Okay. Which is a better loan, right? The FHA or the conventional loan? Which one's going to give you the better interest rate in your opinion? It depends on the client, right? Okay. So Because every client is a little bit different, right? Not only income, credit score wise. Sure. Um, and so depending on the information 
for the client, then you determine okay. what the best one is. Because right. so sometimes FHA might make more sense, conventional might make more sense, depending on the criteria of them, you know, okay. of the client. And so it really just depends, but they're both really So either good. one can give you a better interest rate, just depends sure. on the person. Exactly. Okay. And yeah, we determine okay. that, right? Yeah, and so yeah. we're always gonna look at it, we'll give them the best options, okay. um, and we'll let them know. So for FHA today, we're at 4.125. Four point, that's crazy, 4.125, wow, okay. Uh, conventional, 3.625. Wow, so 3.625 for, mm -hmm. so if I went and I got a conventional loan, that's, and I had that, that. And it's for a primary resident, so sure, not an investment property. So what's a primary resident? Tell people Meaning that Meaning you have to live in the home. So you have to be living in the home, ah, which has okay. to be your primary residence. So no, you just can't buy it and say, hey, I'm gonna rent this out. You gotta actually. Right. Okay, okay, right. that makes sense. Okay, sure. good, good, good. For sure. All right, so conventional 3.625, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome number. Okay. Yes. Now so, what kind of credit score are we looking at to get that interest rate? Um, Maybe 680. I think we're 680. That's a good number. Yeah, if it's six, a little bit lower, come on, no way. Yeah, 680. Yeah, 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 for sure. Come on. Maybe 700. You're killing me with that 680. Mm -hmm. six, really? It could absolutely. Wow, that's for FHA. Good. For you I know. was thinking like 750, 780. No, 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 no. no. Wow, 680. That's attainable. A lot of people. A lot absolutely. of people get 680. Absolutely. You know? Wow. Okay. That makes that's that's mm -hmm. there's hope. Mm -hmm. There's hope out there. Yes. I like it. A lot of hope out there. Yes. A lot of hope out there, everybody. I dig the 680. <laughs> That's good stuff. All right. So, what else you got? That's it. I think That's those it. are my my numbers I wanted to share. That's what I like but those numbers. Those yeah, are good numbers, though. Thank you. Those Thanks are good numbers. Jeff. Okay. So, it, how does uh, we're having some issues here oh. with this thing? All right. There it is. There it is, right there. All right. So, how does the interest rate normally work out? Is does the credit play a lot into that? Yes. Or is it sometimes like how the interest rate is like you know kind of like labeled, right? Because right now you said three point six two five. Now that's going to fluctuate. Up and yes, down, right? Every but day. the credit score also kind of plays into what interest rate you're going to get. Yes. Okay, so can you explain that a little bit? Yes. All right, go ahead. So the better the credit score, sure. the better the interest rate. Ah, okay. okay. So absolutely, it plays a big role in what you can get. Okay. Um, for down payment assistance programs, those are a, a little bit different. Okay. But you do have to have a minimum credit score for those. Um, they still fluctuate, but not as much as if you're coming in with your own. Ah, funds. okay, okay. Um, and so. That was some issues there. Go ahead. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Yeah. Okay. It makes All a right. lot of sense cool. actually. So okay. So but as long as you have, if you have a, like a six eighty score, right, which is attainable to a lot of people, you can get those. Right. Those better interest rates come Absolutely, down. yes. Right. And you know, and anytime I take an application, if we are in the 600s, we're always going to try and simulate a little bit of, you know, we want to increase that score. Sure. It, because it's only going to help them, right? If it's going to take a month to be, and they're at 620 now, and then they can be at 670, six, whatever it is, 672, sure. we're going to try to shoot for that. Okay. If it's if it's something that is only a month away or a couple of months away, yeah. that's always the goal is to get them a little bit higher. Well, that makes sense. For sure. I dig it. For I sure. like it. All right, guys. Well, this has been a good time. So I hope you guys got some info out of it today. Uh, <laughs> if you guys have any questions, definitely let us know about interest rates or any kind of lending. Selena's right here. All right. If you guys have any questions about real estate or anything else, let us know. We're here here to help you guys out, here to make the process easy and so that everybody understands the process because there's so much red tape when it so comes to real much. estate. So much red tape. Like I don't get the whole red tape around house buying or refinancing. It's just, <laughs> you look really good in those glasses, by the way. <laughs> really good in those glasses. Oh, sorry, I had to put them <laughs> But yeah, so if you guys want to come down, talk to us, or if you have any questions, definitely let us know. We're here. You guys have a great day. And uh, Selena, if you want to give them your email address or anything, yes. how they get a hold of you, that'd be uh, great. Selena Studi at C Studi, sorry, C, C Studi at LendSmartMortgage.com. C Studi, LendSmartMortgage.com. And uh, yeah, we'll yeah. put the uh, the link to her down below. And if you get any questions, she's the one to talk to. All right, guys, have a great Yay. day out there. Be good to yourselves, be good to others. And I'll talk to you guys <laughs> next time.